So we're going to talk about entering data and editing data, two things that you're going to do a lot of in Excel. Along those lines, there's three modes of the worksheet, the ready mode, the enter mode, and the edit mode. We're going to take a brief look at those modes and then look at entering data and then look at editing data. So we're in Excel, and Excel has the worksheet in the ready mode. How do I know that? Well, because the status bar is telling me it's in the ready mode. I'm going to select a cell and make it the active cell. There are several different other modes. The other two we're going to talk about is the enter mode. In order to get Excel into the enter mode, I just need to start typing something. We're now in the enter mode because I'm entering data into the cell. I'm going to enter the word the. So that's in the cell now. We're back in the ready mode. And the third mode, common mode, there's more than three, is the edit mode. And I can get Excel in the edit mode by double-clicking the cell. So I'm going to escape out of that and delete the content. And we're going to sort of start over. So we're in the ready mode. And I'm going to enter some data into the cell, some content, and show you that depending upon what you want to do next will then determine what you do next. In order to enter this content into the cell and go to another cell, there's a number of different things you can do. I can click off of this cell and end up in a place that I designate by using the mouse. I'm going to delete that, enter some more content into the cell, so I can leave the cell and go to a place of my choosing anywhere that I see on the worksheet that's visible. If I don't want to leave the cell, I can press Control Enter, and I enter that content into the cell without leaving the cell. I'm going to delete that and put the word Enter in there again. If I press the Enter key, I'll enter the content and go to the cell below the active cell. I'm going to delete that. If I press the Tab key, I'll enter the content and go to the column to the right of the active cell. I'm going to delete that again and put it in there once again. And I also have the option to use the arrow keys, which I can go up, down, to the left, or to the right, depending upon which arrow key I'm using, like the up arrow key. So that's a way to enter content into a cell. Once we have content in the cell, we have three ways to edit the content. So I've entered this word into the active cell, B16. We're in the ready mode, and now I want to go to the edit mode. One way to do that is press F2, and we're in the edit mode, and I can backspace and edit this content. I'm going to control enter. Another thing we could do is just double click the cell, and that takes us into the edit mode, the same thing as pressing F2. And I can edit this content again. Of course, I'm not changing it, but yet another th way to edit the content is to go right up into the formula bar and edit it that way. So we looked at the modes of the spreadsheet, the three common modes, the ready mode, the enter mode, and the edit mode. We entered data into a cell, and we left the cell after we entered content in a number of different ways. We clicked off of it. We could use the Enter key, the Control Enter key, if we didn't want to leave the cell, the Tab key to move to the right, or one of the arrow keys. And then we edited the content by selecting the cell, pressing F2 to get to the edit mode, or double-clicking the cell to get to the edit mode, or editing the content right in the formula bar. 